that would take him to the Hall of Fame, Celtics legend John Havlicek embraced being a sixth man. That role is important to a club, he would say, adding, quote, one thing I learned from Red Auerbach was that it's not who starts the game, but who finishes it, and I generally was around at the finish. The John Havlicek Trophy goes to the Kia NBA Sixth Man of the Year, and these are the three finalists. From the Boston Celtics, Malcolm Brogdon. From the Milwaukee Bucks, Bobby Portis. And from the New York Knicks, Emmanuel Quickly. This is tough. Would you do, uh, do me a favor and pass this to uh, the Chuckster, since he's six, the man. only one who hasn't done an award this week? Thank you, Kenneth. You're welcome, Chuckster. Oh, you want me to tell y'all? Well, the <laughs> sixth man <laughs> might be like helpful. Presentation. The Kia sixth man of the NBA sixth man of the year. Malcolm Brogdon. Hey! From, hey! from the high, baby. <laughs> there you go. Chico, you did it, baby. Way to, way to work, Chuck. Well deserved. <laughs> well deserved. Oh, man. Uh, 15 points a night, four rebounds, four assists. All 67 games he played this year were off the bench for the Celtics. Number four three-point shooter in the league at 44%. And uh, Malcolm Brogdon, wow. the 2023 NBA Kia Sixth Man of the Year. That is uh, that is well-deserved. Well deserved. And, and, and a, for a guy who... Been in the league now seven years. In the last, in the previous, that's, that's it. Yeah, in the previous four years, seven. seven. In the previous four years, he had uh, started all every game he played. You know, the last one in Milwaukee and three in Indiana. Yeah. And now with Boston, he's uh, coming totally off the bench. That's awesome. Not a great kid too. Yeah, I've got uh, the voting. The voting breakdown here. So he got 60 out of 100 first place votes. Emmanuel Quickly was second. And Bobby Portis was third in the balloting. Uh, and you know, when we do these, nobody knows who's winning, but all the, all the finalists are available, you know, to dial in on, uh, on Zoom or whatever. But in this case, Malcolm Brogdon, since the Celtics are here in Atlanta to play the Celtics, uh, to play the Hawks, is right here in the studio. What? Yes. That's where he was going to oh. watch it all unfold. And so it is our pleasure to, uh, to welcome Congratulations, the sixth man of the year, Malcolm Brogdon, who is, by the way, just the second, just the second player to now have a rookie of the year and a sixth man uh, on, the, uh, on the mantle, the other being Mike Miller. Yeah, so there you go. Hey, congratulations, man. Atlanta-born guy in Atlanta to get the news, and uh, we're happy for you, man. I'm, I'm happy to be here, man. This is such an honor. Um, you know, it's definitely been a transition for me coming from Indiana to, to Boston, um, but it, I'm with a great organization. Uh, I have great teammates, um, a great coaching staff. Joe has taken over and done a great job. Um, so I definitely want to thank those guys for, for incorporating it. Yeah, we, we were just talking about it before we started. I'm sorry, Shaq, I'll get to you in one second. But again, the transition after starting so many games the previous four seasons and now every game off the bench. So what was that transition like uh, mindset-wise? Yeah, you know, a lot of what, what happens between the lines out here is, is about ego. Um, and if you can check your ego at the door a lot of the time, you're going to be better off. Um, so, I, you know, when the trade happened, I talked to Brad Stevens and they, they told me straight up, you know, you're going to come off the bench like that. We have a formula here. We have something that works. We think you can be a key piece and really help us. But your role is going to be coming off the bench. And I chose to embrace it. All right, Shaq. Two things. One, you're such a mature player. You're the perfect prototype of, of a point guard. Get your guys involved. You can score when you want to. How did you control your ego and say, you know what, I will come off the bench, but you're actually good enough to start on the team. But how did you control your ego to the point to where you're like, I'm going to let these guys do what I do and I'll accept coming off the bench? Man, I've, I've, uh, I had the pleasure of playing with Giannis, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the best players, you know, in the world, um, which was for me coming out of college. I was All-American. I, I get accolades, but you have to check your ego at the door, when I, especially when I got to Milwaukee. Then I go to Indiana and me and Domas are really running the show there. Um, 
in my last two seasons there weren't super successful. So that for me, that was another gut check for me um, and understanding maybe I'm not a number one guy, um, but I can be a great number two, three or four. Um, and then coming to Boston, playing behind JT, behind JB and the, these guys that are uh, proven all stars and, you know, soon to be all NBA guys. Um, you know, it's it's definitely a, a good fit for me. You mentioned Domus. You know, you guys didn't get a lot of love when y'all were in in Indiana. And now you go to Boston, you win the sixth man of the year. You see him playing his butt off this year. How rewarding is that for you see him, your ex-teammate doing great? Man, it's awesome. Uh, me and Domus had some good years together. We had great chemistry. Uh, I think it was just a matter of time till the world saw how good he really was, how versatile he is. Um, I, I think the thing about him is everybody talks about his father. Yeah. How great his dad is, he'll never be his dad. I think that's really fueled him uh, to be even better. And look what he's done for that organization. I mean, he's completely turned it around. He's, he's had a phenomenal year. Well, no disrespect. He's never going to be a good as daddy. <laughs> I mean, but, but he's a hell of a player, and I'm happy for you. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit about... A charity thing. I got involved with you last time. What you doing? Because it's an amazing thing. For sure. I have, I have a, a nonprofit foundation um, that builds clean water wells in East Africa, Tanzania, and Kenya. Um, we'll soon be, soon be expanding to different parts of, of Africa and hopefully different parts of the world soon. We're, we're doing a lot. You gave us a $45,000 check, which is a, the, it was the amount for a well um, a few years back, which was much appreciated. Um, but we're, we're doing a lot of good work impacting a lot of lives. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I've seen this young man from a ninth grader playing with Chico Robinson on our A-high <laughs> basketball sure. team. That's two some... shout-outs for Chico yeah, in the we same show. You, right and, and I, know, you know, I know his family and friends are happy, but I know there's guys that are from this building. Chico, he works out with Jermaine Harris in the summertime as well. LSJ. Yes, wow. LSJ. Okay. Likes good Jermaine. So, you know, we're all just proud of you, man, and we understand, you know, you talk about checking your ego at your door. But I think... Talk to Shaq about that. I think... I don't, I, <laughs> Before we come on the show. It's never going to happen. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't think term. that you are checking your ego. I think what you're doing is, you know, I don't know if you agree. For me, when I feel externally is, you're taking your role and moving it to later minutes. But the minutes are going to be the same. The time is going to be playing. If you're playing well enough, you're going to be on the floor at the end of the game as well. Right. I, I think I totally agree. It's uh, more just an adjustment of your role. Uh, the, you know, for me, I'm a, I'm a proven guy in the league. Uh, I think Boston brought me here for a reason. They know what I can do. Um, but it was really about me being, you know, now playing off the ball, which I did a lot in Milwaukee. So I think my versatility has helped me. You know, it's easier playing against second unit guys. It's a <laughs> little bit. Yeah, for sure. That, that, <laughs> okay. that definitely matters. <laughs> okay. for sure. You know, before we made the announcement, we, we were given a little background, you know, on John Havlicek. Um, and, and it speaks to what you just talked about too, Kenny. You know that that, ha that Hondo was always like, "Look, I may not I may not start the game, but I'm usually around at the finish of the game." Um, have you seen the trophy, by the way, uh, that that you're going to be getting? Because the NBA has these new trophies. I have not. I uh, and you know it's beautiful, Hondo Havlicek in there. Uh, and we just, you know, we happen to have. I think we have it around here somewhere. Um, as a matter of fact, a guy who's won this award three times. Special Jamal delivery, Crawford. special delivery. Hey, we got special <laughs> delivery. Man, that's nice. Oh, that's man. You. Congrats, my man. Thank yes, sir. Well deserved. Well deserved. Man, that's sweet. The first yeah, winner of the John Apple check. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I John Apple slash Jamal Crawford could have been named on there, too. Give me something, Jack. Give me something, Jack. <laughs> Your name could have been on that award, too. Thanks for doing the honors there, Jamal. Man, Appreciate that, man. They, That's man a Adam beauty, Silver, it? man, he give out better trophies than David Stern did. Yeah, did. yeah those are those that are beautiful. That is sweet. That's, right? That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And and very cool, too, for you to have uh, to have your wife, uh, Victoria, here today yes. and your daughter here. Yeah. So what was that moment like when you heard your name called? What was it like? Special, um, special. You know, I, I was competing against two other great players and, and Bobby and Emmanuel, um, so I didn't know. But, you know, hearing my name for this award, you know, what Jamal and others have done before me, um, it's awesome. And to share it with my family is special. Happy for you. Thank you. Man. Appreciate it. Well appreciate deserved. It. Well appreciate it. Hey, my, baby. Hey, my. Hey, my. <laughs>